What are some not fun facts? Horses can't throw up, if they need to throw up, they'll die. R.I.P. Bojack Horseman. If you shine a flashlight slash smartphone on a newborn sea turtle for too long, which could be only minutes, it will start crawling around in circles. Known as the ring of death, it means that the turtle's eyesight has been permanently damaged due to mistaking your lights for the moon that guides it to the sea. By doing this, you have doomed the sea turtle to death right after birth. Semicolon. It's really sad that this is even a known thing. Poor turtles. Cities are super bad for sea turtles because they are full of bright lights which confuse them. Crabs eat their babies and sloths can die from starvation with a full stomach. Lots of sloths also die because when they are swinging through the trees they grab their other arm instead of a branch and fall to their deaths. Damn how did evolution let those guys through? Heroin overdose is so prevalent and dangerous because of how fast tolerance bounces back. So let's say an addict gets arrested and is in jail for a few days, weeks, whatever. If they're a heavy user even half the dose they last used could kill them. If any apocalypse happens, anyone who takes medication daily is ficked. My sister has diabetes and requires insulin. This is seriously one of my major fears. There is a whale called 52 Blue who sings at such a strange frequency he is unable to communicate with other whales. Pretty sure there was an Octonauts program about it. They make him a special translator, and he lives happily ever after. Gingivitis is contagious. This is exceptionally gross. Forensic investigators love people with tattoos. It makes their job so much easier. When it comes to heart disease, the very first symptom in roughly one third of all cases is sudden death. Meaning you could be perfectly healthy and drop dead because you had heart disease and didn't know it. Check your family history people. Yup, my old man was 64, ate healthy, ran every day, had an old guy six pack, didn't drink or smoke, and loved his job. One day he just literally fell over dead. Silent ischemia. What kind of tests would have prevented this? Criminals that are considered unattractive usually receive a 50% longer jail time than attractive criminals. Sharks eat their siblings before B-I-R-T-H equals T-H-E-R-E can be only one. There are 100 of them on average. It's the first battle royale. Brain aneurysms can happen at any time in your life and you won't know until it's too late or if a doctor accidentally finds it. What symptoms would cause a doctor to accidentally find an aneurysm? If it makes you feel any better, I complained of headaches for about 3 years and no one thought to give me an MRI, then I had a brain aneurysm pop and now I get one every year, they are not always as bad as people think, I'm more or less fine bar crippling headaches, memory problems and lots of other weird shit lol. We have different definitions of the word fine. Some whales, when old, no longer have enough strength to swim for as long, so if they swim too deep. They might not have enough strength to swim back up to get air, so they end up drowning. On the topic of dead whales, whenever they die and their bodies reach the surface, they will eventually explode like a balloon. Then they sink and provide food and shelter for thousands of tiny creatures. The CIEIE uncle of Lee life. Babies can die after consuming honey. The botulinum toxin, like the one in Botox, will paralyze their muscles causing floppy baby syndrome. They really should've named that something else. Just like wobbly hedgehog syndrome. Who's naming these things? Weenie Hut General. Cowgirl slash reverse cowgirl position is the most common reason for a man's penis to break. Huh, so, asking for a friend who happened to get lucky, what's a broken penis supposed to look and feel like exactly? Bent and painful. Ah, know any good hospitals, while you're at it? Some dogs have to get their anal glands squeezed by veterinarians, or their owners, if too much fluid gets stuck in them. Dogs usually help themselves with the issue though, by pooing or rubbing their butts on the floor. And if your dog isn't the type that drags there, but on your carpet, to let you know things are getting backed up, the glands can abscess and explode, then for a few weeks it looks like your dog has two buttholes. This happened to my cat earlier this year, it was very gross. 
there's a plant in Australia, called the Jimpy Jimpy tree that has hairs all over it that are small enough, and are compared to hypodermic needles. And whenever a person touches the plant these hairs stick into your skin, and inject a toxin. That causes a pain compared to the affected area being covered in acid and set on fire. And what makes it worse is, that the pain lasts months to years. Pretty sure there was a guy, that used it for toilet paper. Yep and unsurprisingly he shot himself. Step aside. Bottle cap challenge. I present to you the wiping your ass with millions of toxic needles challenge. That's one way to kill Instagram. Japanese used to use prisoners, to test how many bodies their sword was, they would stack prisoners on top of each other, and however many the sword went through was how many bodies the sword was. At the rape of Nanking during the Japanese-Chinese War in 1939 Japanese officers held a contest who could kill the most Chinese civilians with a sword. I believe they also used to toss babies up, and try to spear them with bayonets. Goros will usually masturbate, after battling with others. Victory wank. You can die from Alzheimer's due to the brain forgetting how to swallow or breathe. That's usually how you die from Alzheimer's. Yeah, but a surprising amount of people don't even know you can die from Alzheimer's. The sun occasionally lets out supermassive bursts of plasma energy called coronal mass ejections. These could knock out our satellites, power grid and internet for decades. One barely missed us in 2012. And another has about a 10% chance of happening in the next 10 years. I've also heard though, that we can prepare ahead of time, by shutting down electricity for a few days when the strike hits. So people may be without power for a few days, but it wouldn't destroy infrastructure. You're correct there. It's also worth noting, that we've gotten way better at monitoring these things. We would know it's happening far before it struck us. At the very least, with a worldwide blackout. And the effect a CME has on our planet's magnetic field, the northern lights would be seen from everywhere, and be brilliantly beautiful. You are roughly 30 times more likely to die in a motorcycle accident than car accident. This factors in the odds of being in an accident per mile, and the odds of the accident being a fatality. Dolphins will use decapitated fish heads to masturbate. If you think I'm joking look it up. Dolphins are fucking weird. Yes, I'm king shaming them. The Spanish flu is one of the most lethal pandemics in history, edited out the most. There are lots of element, that determine the deadliness of these various diseases and too much uncertainty and death tolls, to say for sure which disease was the most lethal. People who caught it bled from their ears, experienced nausea and extreme fever, their skin turned shades of blue, and experienced extreme pain from the slightest touch. It caused internal hemorrhaging. 18 to 35 adult immune systems which would typically be considered the strongest would react so strongly that their bodies would fill up with antibodies and fluid, literally drowning the infected with their own defense mechanism. This happened for a specific reason. See Peekman's comment. Edit. If you are looking for a good source, The Great Influenza by John M. Berry is a good one. It was the worst of the 20th century, but not all of history. The plague has a much higher death toll for I think 1348 to 1350. It is kind of interesting why they call, is the Spanish influenza of 1918. Though, Spain was one of the few places actually reporting accurate morbidity and mortality rates. An elephant can control its dick, and kill you with it. Horses can also freely move their dicks, and often swing it around to masturbate. Is that like moving your ears? It's like a GD using the force. The force skin. There are more tigers kept inhumanely in the backyards of America than there are tigers left in the wild. 4,000 approximate in wild. 6,000 approximate in captivity. And most of the backyard tigers are in Texas. There is such a thing as masturbating too much. Many reported cases of patients coming in with gangrene on their dungs and testes, because they jerked it so much they made abrasions and skin tears on their manhoods. Their entire pride would turn dark purple and black. Some have even died of sepsis because of this. So TLDR to my hormonal friends. Don't wank yourself to death. How frequently do you have to jack it for that to happen? I can't say there is a finite number of times you have to jack it to happen. Depends on a variety of factors such as, what you are using to wank, flashlights, clothes, carpet, sandpaper, etc. Obviously more friction slash roughness of the material equals more damage in a shorter span of time. How long you use such thing to wank, some people do it for hours on end at once, collaborates with the above factor. 
how many times you do it per day slash day, never letting the skin heal up from your previous endeavor. Overall hygiene. Not saying don't wank. But obviously don't wank with fucking sandpaper. Yes that has happened before. Sandpaper. Slow down there. Pinocchio. A cat's penis is sharply barbed along its shaft. That's because female cats only ovulate in response to having their vaginas internally stabbed. That sounds horrible, and makes me wonder why cat populations are out of control. Cats are sadomasochists. Dolphins have been known to violently rape female dolphins in groups. They rape people too. That's why I have no interest in swimming with them. What? I saw a video of a dolphin attempting to rape a dude, didn't care about the species or sex, just wanted to backslash 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 something, don't worry his friend saved him. I was a marine mammal rehabber for a while in Texas, if I had my period I wasn't allowed in the water with the dolphins, because if it was male it would try to have sex with me, and if it was female it would view me as competition, and try to kill me. Are you sure it wasn't just what you were wearing you hussy? Genetic diversity of lions and cheetahs is so poor that a single epidemic can kill them all in a few months. 